Hi, I'm Roger Bailey and I'm a big Porsche 911 fan and this is the newest Aston Martin Vantage and I think we're going to start this one with a quick story. Just before the story, my thanks go out to Aston Martin and Wilmslow who have supplied this great car. Thanks again for this guys. And so as we gaze upon this Aston, the story goes something like this. See, there aren't many nations with a history quite like Britain and Germany. Two great peoples whose bygone days of quarrelling moulded their cognition like competing siblings. The German self-belief in being able to make things better than anybody else and the British thinking they are the greatest innovators. Two passionate forces of nature with a history of combating one another. Imagine then what can be achieved by a collaboration. Well, here is just such a collaboration, a British icon of style and quality fired into life with German Mercedes AMG power and the result is something striking, something exciting, something new. What first grabs your attention are the head turning looks from the front end with super thin LED lights peering out over this huge splitter that looks like it's meant to consume all before it. This gaping mouth is controversial, to me it adds race car aggression. Your gaze then passes along the elegantly sculpted side air vents onto the rear where the spoiler sweeps up the boot lid. Any way you look this is as much a work of art as a piece of engineering and it attracts attention. People want to talk in fuel stations, some take pictures and several just stand and observe. Inspiration for the Vantage comes from the DB10 which you will recall Q Branch giving to 007 in the Bond movie Spectre. Under this low swooping James Bond approved body is not only that Mercedes AMG V8 sledgehammer of an engine but also much of the Mercedes electrical systems and the infotainment. Inside too there is a waterfall of attractive details designed to put a smile on the face of any lucky owner. The paddle shifters on the wheel are solid metal and feel expensive. The digital dials have beautifully clear graphics and even something as minor as the sun visor is pure clear. Last. and everything in here is swathed in sumptuous leather and it's this that makes the cabin feel and even smell luxurious. To settle on the standard Alcantara trim would surely spoil this ambiance. It's essential to tick the leather option boxes. To some traditionalists this Anglo-German melding might sound like a nightmare scenario and it's sure to get the old school Aston aficionados spluttering into their pints of bitter. But the good news is that this blend of German brute force and technology mixed with classic British style and craftsmanship really works. The Vantage is not all perfection though. The controls are a bit confusing on first acquaintance. There's no comfort drive setting, only sport and above. The road noise could be an issue for some and putting fuel in is a petrol splashing kosh hazard. That said though, get it out on the road and the car from Q Branch has a way of making you feel rather special. That 4 litre twin turbo V8 gives us a seriously quick car. The amount of instant torque will raise your eyebrow and we are hurtling to 60 miles an hour from standstill in just three and a half seconds and then we're on for a top speed of well that shall remain for your eyes only. Oh and did I mention the engine note? Well, just hear this. This is the sound of the return of the apocalypse. So can a Porsche compete with all this drama? Well, just hold on to that thought. More than the Aston's immense speed, you soon realise that the chassis engineers have done as good a job as the designers, which is praise indeed. The engine may be from Mercedes, but the chassis is pure Aston, and lots of work has gone into making sure that the car's weight is evenly distributed. 
poised and precise with sharp steering that gives you immense confidence that Vantage does it all. You could be neat and tidy with it or drive it like a Universal Studio stunt driver. Whatever you want, the Aston obliges. It's great fun flying down a twisting country road but at the same time it's comfortable enough to cruise along the motorway and easy enough to manoeuvre around town. And if you have a track to play on, I hear you can hang out the tail like Ken Block. It's a car that can make you proud to be British. Or, if you're not British, it surely evokes a sense of respect for the plucky UK manufacturer. And we shall salute those German partners. So, I can hear you asking, is this Aston better than a Porsche 911? And two, would I switch from a Porsche and put my money into an Aston Martin Vantage. Well, firstly, is it better than its rivals? That's what Aston Martin's boss asks his engineers, and it's not an unreasonable one to ask. And I imagine they'll tell him, and I'll tell you, it's not that simple. You see, in many ways, yes, it's better. And in some ways, no, it isn't. But for the most part, it's just different. And that's perfect. That gives us choice. That means the near identical Porsche performance statistics don't matter. This is all about choice based upon emotion. And secondly, would I switch from a Porsche to an Aston Martin? Well, I have been forever shaken and stirred by this tremendously appealing car. However, once you begin to add a few options, you'll be looking at a price of around £150,000. And at that price, does it give you £30,000 more than a well spec Porsche 911 Carrera? Furthermore, has it a proven development track record? How predictable is the cost of ownership? And does it have a track record of holding its value? Well, you check that last one out and you let me know. And if I were to swap from a Porsche to an Aston Martin, would I want to say goodbye to a hugely involving Porsche owners community? Well, I'm sure some will. For me personally though, stunning that the Vantage is, all this adds up to, well, no, I won't be swapping just yet. If you were to buy one, you surely will not be disappointed by this striking car. You will get noticed, you won't see many others, and you can't fail to enjoy the unique and exquisite Aston Martin experience. And for the rest of us, we should wave a few flags, put out some bunting and celebrate, because now we have a choice and it delivers on the shores of Great Britain. And so what we have is an historic achievement of the collaboration of two of the greatest European automotive forces combined to make what is a genuine contender in the world of supercars, the Aston Martin Vantage. <laughs> 